We visited Angel Cordero Jr. at Belmont Park and spoke with him about the unprecedented competition among today's top writers. He also shared a funny story about one of his illustrious peers. They all came a long way to become top. You know, I remember when Johnny was a little kid and came here and to the United States and worked his way into to, to be a champion like he is now. I remember the Ortiz brother when they first got to this country, they used to come to the house with a friend of us, uh, Pito, that used to bring it over. We used to watch film and ride the equalizer. I remember then they were, they, they were scared. I remember Manny Franco when he came and he was a kid. Now I'm very fortunate to be working for him. Fortunately, we have something happening in here that didn't happen in a long time anywhere. We have like nine or 10 top riders here in New York riding together. Uh, didn't see that competition that, competition that hard since San Anita when they have all Shoemaker and Lafitte and you know, and De La Hood, and Macaron and all, you know, Mahark and all them guys together, it was tough. Now it is tough too. You got 10 riders here that no matter where they go, they could be leading riders. So it's very hard to compete against uh, tougher people. But I wish I was riding now because that's what makes an athlete a little better when you compete with somebody that is good. Then you know you're really in for a fight. Uh, our game have probably the 10 top riders in the world. We're very, very happy to know they competing and, and uh, the friendship with the Jackies is so way in outside. When the door is open for the gate, nobody's friend. When the door, when the race is over, 10 minutes later, not right after that, but 10 minutes later, everything comes to normal. I went to California to ride uh, in a big race with, uh, for Wayne Lucas, and I was in entry with Lafitte. We um, finished the race, and he said, I'll take you to the airport. So he's taking me to the airport, and we got off the car at the airport, and he got off, helped me with my tag. We hug each other and he say, good luck, campeón. I said, well, thank you. But that hit me real hard. You know, I was in the plane, man. I said, I feel called me campeón. So I was sitting on you know, first class thinking that I was the president of the United States. Every time I remember that, oh, campeón. So I got to the airport about, I took the red eye. I got to the airport about 5.30 and my wife was waiting for me there. She said, how was the trip, honey? I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, we got to redo something here. He said, what's the matter? He said, from now on, you got to call me campeón. He said, what do you mean? Are you crazy? I said, no, Lafitte called me campeón. And I like it. And if he called me campeón, you should call me campeón. She said, okay, campeón, get in the car, let's go. So all day she was here, okay, campeón, you want to eat? And, and so time went by, two weeks later, I go back to riding in California for Wayne again, and Lafitte's in entry with me. So we finished the race, and we're taking the saddle off, and the little kid said to him, Lafitte, the he said, I give it to you later, campeón. I said, oh, no. Man, he calls everybody campeón. Oh, when I came back, my wife said, how did you do that? I said, I win, but I'm very sad. He said, why is it because I'm not a campeón anymore? I said, Lafitte calls everybody a campeón. I thought that was a privilege for me, but it was. Right now, what we need is to stay together and rebuild our game. This is the best sport playing outdoor. And it's a lot of big people involved on it, and it's a lot of work. It's a lot of people working from how walkers to groomers, just like boy assistants and trainers. So we need to get together and try to make our sport the best. Uh, we're all gonna have problems, that's part of life, having problems, but I think on a group, we could always get together and do the right thing for the sport. Keep betting on horses, keep watching the races, support our game, best game in town. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content from the TDN.